I'm going to use a signal tracer to find the problem. I've already looked at this earlier, but I thought I'd show you what I did to find the problem. And here I'm plugging this into the audio frequency. I'll turn the radio on and I'm going to tune the radio to a station uh, without music. I don't have a problem with copyright. And I also detuned it a little bit uh, because it sounds a little mushier that way. It's a little bit easier to hear the distortion. It's not detuned too much. Okay. Now I'm going to put the black lead on ground. And I'm going to touch a few places that I found earlier. That's audio frequency. A little distorted. And what I'm looking for is how far back does this noise go? Now I just switch to RF frequency. And here I'm at the RF section. And I found all these points from the SAMS photo facts that you see the radios uh, actually laying on. And what I found was there's a microfarad capacitor, 100 microfarad capacitor in the front end. I'm turning up the radio and what I did was I bridged that 100 microfarad capacitor that one in on ground and I found this point again with the SAMS photo fact and you'll hear that the sound clears up. And when I take the lead off again, it'll get mushy again. So, it's time to take the radio apart and replace that 100 microfarad capacitor. I had a problem trying to get this dial off and I definitely don't want to uh, try using a screwdriver. So I use a very thin wire and this is uh, coated wire. And I get that wire on both sides of the dial and just pull up slowly and that allows me to grab it and take it off of the radio. Here's the radio out of its plastic cabinet and this is C1, that 100 microfarad capacitor right in the middle of the picture. Here's another shot of the capacitor you can see that positive side is pointed at us right now. So I heated up the soldering iron and here I've replaced that capacitor. Notice that I left the original wires there. Here's a better shot of that so you can see what I did. This way on the foil side of this circuit board it doesn't look like I did anything at all. Now the radio plays as it should. And if this was a customer's radio, I would go ahead and replace all of the electrolytics. But I'm not going to this time because I'm planning on keeping this radio. Uh, back 
Thanks for watching.